Namaste Sagittarius, Sagittarius welcome to my channel, this is Lush from Magical, thank you very very much for tuning in, joining in, make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show, of course welcome to your general reading, this is a monthly forecast for your sign, for your sun, moon, rising and venus placements, uh, when it comes to October, but you know, it's like Time is such an illusion, so even though I am reading for October, whenever you actually come across this reading, it's a perfect timing for you to receive these messages and hopefully embrace them, Sagittarius. So let's dive into that. It is a general, as I have mentioned, so this may or may not resonate with you, Sagittarius. Just keep in mind, whatever pops up, just go with the flow take with yourself only what does resonate with you okay i feel like some of you, you don't want to talk you don't want to talk so i have a message in the reverse coming through for you sagittarius but i will talk about it as I get to pull your messages. So let's look at it. Two wands, actually, fire energy. Two wands in the reverse. I feel like you're giving your best to actually stay in a present moment and be in the present. You know, two wands uprights is focusing on the future, focusing into having a focus and concentration onto what's yet to come. But it's like that doesn't bother you. It's almost like you don't want to focus into future. That's why I'm I'm getting that feeling and emotion of the inner Sagittarius that you wanna you 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 wanna stay in present. It could be that some of your traveling plans got cancelled. That might be a little disturbing you, but not much. Uh, now there is that energy of a past that um it's almost like that feeling yes you close the cycle but it's like you don't you don't want to talk about it it's like past is in the past and i feel like you're quite aware of that i was getting a word curious so maybe there is something you are curious about, maybe what have happened to you, but it's like you, you don't want to talk about it, you letting it by side, Sagittarius. So let's leave that there. Let's keep it in the reverse as it wants to come that way. Your overall energy for the month of October. Guys, keep in mind that the roles can be in reverse, okay? Energy is always flowing, it's always changing. So um, if I'm getting to talk about you maybe and you just feel okay this is not me then it's probably the other person who is you know who you are dealing with who you dealt with or the most significantly on your mind your overall energy is coming through as air energy five of swords jumani libra Aquarius. so there is something that is bothering you you might be literally having headaches but there is something that is bothering you it might be um you know, you wanting to be in the present moment, but something is occupying your mind and it may be about the past. It doesn't have to do with a past person. It can just be um, strong occupation is what I'm picking up. It can be a situation. It can be an issue. It can be a problem. It can be an energy. It, it is something that is unresolved for you. So it's knocking back at your door the door of that mental energy so it's quite occupying you i feel like you're quite thinking about it but you don't want to think about it it's like that's why i was picking up that energy you you were giving your best to actually stay in the present moment like not looking towards future the past is not there like i want to be in the now so quite quite aware and conscious sagittarius i must tell You know, we have six planets being in uh, retrograde, so it's like uh, no wonder that some of it come to revisit you. It can be that in the recent past, um, you felt 
the emotion of sadness just uh, you know it definitely has to do with the past you know missed chances missed opportunities what didn't work out for you it can very well have to do with a person who um kind of hurt you left you in a cold you know i i feel that choice and decision so in the recent past i feel like you brought the decision which may have to do sagittarius with you not focusing and concentrating into what is yet to come neither what already have happened but there is something you need to let go and free yourself from that is that energy of the five of swords it's bothering you so your messages we have the moon pisces major arcana you're starting with a major arcana so this is very important for you to hear sagittarius we have the number of 18 and it is the quality of nine which is telling you are closing a cycle and i feel like you are totally getting aware of that it, something is coming to clarity with the moon energy uh, there is something that is uh, going to show up for you uh, that may be a clue for you to get out of the energy of the five of swords you will gain the balance quite soon it may already start happening for you you might start feeling like yeah realization next to that ace of swords so definitely realization definitely the clarity uh some idea is coming up it's almost like you are finding the solution solution is coming to you aquarius again that air energy you might be having some air prominent in your chart Gemini, libra or aquarius or that is the person you were dealing with who is an air sign doesn't have to be though it's all about the energy in tarot right and we have five of pentacles for you and that is that earth energy coming through virgo taurus capricorn and that is that energy where you actually have the solution coming your way which is going to give you clarity it may come in a form of situation idea it will give you a peace of mind definitely it may get through and come through as a communication, but um, it's almost like you, you don't want to face it. You don't want to see it. You just want to stay in your bubble. So let's clarify for you, Sagittarius. Let's start with the moon energy. I have sharing kind of a jumping feel like you are a little bit afraid there is a side of fear when it comes to sharing maybe sharing what you uh what you what you have gained until now maybe sharing your thoughts your feelings your emotions what is actually going on with you Sagittarius so let's see what's going on with you if you haven't already, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that a lot. Join in the family and the community. And of course, Sagittarius, if you wish for a personal rating, those are available. You can have a look into the description box um, and get to see how you can contact me. So the moon is clarified with letting go. This is definitely what is needed here. I already... So that storyline with the five of swords, that is that energy. It's almost like October is going to be about headaches and you observing what you need to let go of. And it has to do with the past. It has to do with the past baggage, past burden, something that is heavily on your mind, but you don't want to put your focus onto that because it's almost like you didn't get over a person you didn't get over a feeling you didn't get over a situation so it's revisiting you and that is that retrograde um, energy that we are having going on right now and you have comparison also as a message of clarification um i feel like in order for you to really move on and actually be and live in the present moment um there is something you need to stop comparing i feel like you're still hurting and there is a part of you that just don't want to look at that hurt because it hurts so much 
and you will get to realize that that is going to come to light it can be that the person that hurt you actually tries to communicate with you once again and you will just try uh not try you will just do actually you will do the comparison like oh i've been there and you already did that and you said that and i felt that so it's like let go of that it will give you peace of mind because um yeah we have battle at the bottom of the deck So that energy keeps battling you with yourself and you with this person. Let's have a look about the Ace of Swords. Okay. Ace of Swords is clarified with the Source. This is almost the energy like a Wheel of Fortune. So that is something that you will realize. Um... And that is quite needed for you at this period of time, Sagittarius. It may be around mid-October, maybe a little earlier. Um, it will open your mind. It will be mind-blowing for you almost. You also have the message of wholeness, being whole, feeling whole, like nothing is missing. And I feel like that is that peace of mind that um, you actually want to have. Because for us human <laughs> for us humans to be in the present moment we need the peace of mind and i feel like you you're looking forward so we have adventure and this is the universe opening the new door for you sagittarius new adventure is coming in when you get to find the peace of mind when you get to feel whole again and bottom of the deck the new vision exactly so this will quiet in fact, whatever will happen with the Ace of Swords, it is an Ace, you know, this is quite powerful energy. And I feel like this is fated for you, especially because of the message of clarification is the source. It's something really deep, quite powerful, and very meaningful for you. Um, it, will, it, will, it will possibly change the way you look at something, the way you look at things, the way you look at the situation. And it will also... you help you release that energy of comparison i feel like you will succeed to let that go sagittarius um and this is definitely giving you peace of mind let me tell you that with the new vision it's like a change of a perspective change of a perception maybe you're believing how you see this person randomly cut the deck we have braveness so yeah be brave be brave as you can be so let's see what is about the five of pentacles maybe the five of pentacles is not your energy coming through interesting now we have the wheel of fortune coming through as a clarification in a combination with past life so uh something that is quite faded um uh, you know this might be your energy it might not be your energy um uh, but it's going to be present that feeling of loss almost maybe it's time for you to get over something deal with something be in peace with something I feel like something is over here. It can have to do with your karma or karma of the person you were dealing with, you are dealing with somebody, maybe in your society, in your environment, uh, maybe even an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, this, is, this is about karma. This is about past life karma. So if this is another person, you get to have a quite strong bond. And it's almost like uh, maybe by everything that is happening for you, you get to resolve the karma with this person. Something is happening here um, with the Wheel of Fortune. Of course, it's happening in your favor and for your highest good. It can be, um, you know, come in a form of an event or a situation 
to five of swords overall energy then you have another five of pentacles you might be having some problem with the earth in your chart and you were really dealing with a or you were dealing with a either air or earth sign sagittarius but you have two fives which is ten so we have one you will start in the beginning yeah you're closing off a cycle i feel like you're if this is the energy that will be revisiting you it's only so because you need to clear the space before that you start you happening can a cure for you that's why this is coming through wheel of fortune faded event with the past life and we have intellect at the bottom of the deck creator okay let's have a look into some advice for you Sagittarius hmm funny cycles don't let the illusion of time fool you you are where you need to be right now things are not as they appear i feel like you need to hear that i kind of want it it stayed on a table as i pick my deck so let's have a look love universe messages for you sagittarius according to your situation Okay, there is, I will take this as reverse. Let's see about that. And this is upright. You have more options than you realize. So it's almost like you're not aware how attractive you can be, Sagittarius. We have also, you are adored. I feel like whoever you were dealing with, it's almost like they still love you. A message in the reverse is your treasure is at hand. So maybe you will need some patience before you have some treasure at hand. Okay, this is this is a message about when you stop looking, but it's almost like you want to keep on looking. Yeah, you want to keep on looking. And you probably believe as I get to be in the present moment that will get you know, be a best way for me to actually attract. Quite clever. Quite clever and quite conscious. Okay. If you get to feel a little detached, alone, um, you are adored is a message from the universe telling you that you are not. So Sagittarius, get to know each other, be open because this actually gets to communication and connection going deeper. Get to know each other, so be open for that. We have religious factors can be influencing, are influencing your love life, your spiritual path and your religion, your background, the way you were raised. And we have reconciliation. Somebody from your past is coming back at your life. At your life. <laughs> in your life. So coming back at you in your life. That's what I wanted to say, Sagittarius. Uh, it can be that um, you will get a little confused, you know, with the Five of Swords energy. Maybe because a past person wants to reconcile, sees the potential still. Uh, definitely still thinking of you. I feel like they still love you. Um, and you don't want to be there. That's why it's like, you know. Let's have a look into some chakra messages for you. Okay. So the first one is about throat chakra. I speak truth, I speak love, I am expressive. I feel like there is a need 
it's almost like that feeling of unfinished business. There is a need for you to express yourself, to tell your truth and how you feel, especially if it is with this person. Maybe in that way you will help yourself to close a cycle. I trust my guidance by my divine. So I feel like you are quite patient for a Sagittarius with that message. That is a crown chakra. I trust my guidance by my divine. And that is exactly that present moment that I was telling you about. It's almost like you know you are being guided. You are totally aware of that. That's why like no past, no future. I want to be here. I feel like a lot of you, you are quite into Buddhism. We have Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, third chakra coming through solar plexus chakra. So again, this might be somebody you were dealing with. Uh, or this is the energy you are strong, embracing, and empowering. Um, even though you are not an earth sign, maybe as a sun, maybe you have rising earth or somewhere prominent in your chart. We also have water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is interesting. This is second chakra, sacral chakra. Hmm. It's almost like I'm getting that feeling of balance with earth signs and emotions with water signs. And it can just be the energies that you are Sagittarius battling about. It doesn't have to be the battle, but we saw the battle um, in your messages. Okay, Sag, ask a question. What answers are coming through? Uh, this can also be that type of answer that you were having mostly on your mind. I feel like definitely some type of solution or, you know, like, like that aha moment. Almost like presence of a tower. Even though I don't feel a tower necessary, it's just, you know, Ace of Swords, exactly like, yeah. That was it. That was the piece that I was missing. You know, that kind of a, like mind opening. So in the background of your mind, universe is telling you, get more information. So don't jump into something, into situation, conclusion. Um, get more information, whatever that may be and mean for you. When it comes to your answers, we have this is the sign. So maybe you actually hearing this is a sign that will confirm something very important for you. You know that I always say when a major con is opening a reading, that is very, very important for you to hear. So Sagittarius, uh, there are signs all around you, which may have to do with water elements or earth elements. Somehow that's really, you know, poking at me. something about signs this is the sign so you will know it you will know it you will take it as a sign as well then it may have to do with that person and we have yes crystal clear yes and this is what i have for you sag i hope it is helpful i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed because that's you know that's what all is about so thank you very very much for being here sharing a little bit of time and energy with me i truly appreciate that um get to like share and subscribe if you already have not i know i said that but yeah um take good care Sage.